I often get questions from people about free machine embroidery and about how to start. So I thought I'd put together a little video just to show you the very basics and how to get started. Now, the very first thing you do before you fiddle about with machine settings, etc., is you need to have a clean machine and people forget about cleaning their machine. Now, you might have to unscrew this little plate on mine. I should be able to just press it and it pops out. And my machine isn't too, too dirty at the moment, but you use the little brush that comes with your machine. If you can't find that, a paint brush will do. And you need to brush out any fluff and any loose bits of thread. And also you need to go down into the bobbin race, wherever that might be. And here I have got quite a bit of fluff here, so I can get that out. And I am gonna actually take my bobbin case out and I want to get right into it, so I'm going to give it a good clean. Your machine handbook should show you how to do this. It's never a problem, but I've got bits of fluff and thread there, so that's worth doing. And it is worth cleaning your machine every five or six hours or so of use, because this fluff builds up and that will actually affect your free machining. The next thing you need to do is to put your bobbin back in and make sure your bobbin is the right way around. For my machine, and I think most machines, it goes in so that it turns clockwise. I always think of the thread and the bobbin as a number six, and that reminds me which way round it goes. That is important. If you get it the wrong way round, again, it won't run properly. So I'm just gonna put that in and get that back in my machine. And the other thing before I thread my machine is to make sure I've got a new needle in. So got this one here, I've just taken that out and I'm going to get a new one and the needle goes in with a flat part of the needle shank at the back and you need to make sure it is in very tight. So I'm just going to get that in. So my needle is back in nice and firmly and I'm now going to use the hand wheel at the side of the machine to insert my needle and pull up my bobbin thread to the surface and then I am pretty much ready to start sewing. Now, obviously on my machine, I can lower my feed dogs. So I'm just gonna put them back up again. We have these feed dogs will push the fabric through when you're doing normal sewing. And what you have to do to free machine is to lower these. It's a button on mine, so I'll just press that and you'll see them lower. On some machines, you'll have a darning plate that fits over this needle plate here that stops the teeth engaging with your fabric. So that's the first thing you do. And you'll see on my machine, I've got an embroidery foot on. So I have taken my regular foot off, which I'll just put it back on again, so you can see. So that would be my regular foot for normal sewing. I've taken that off and I've put my embroidery foot on. Sometimes the embroidery foot is called a darning foot or a quilting foot. They're all basically the same. They have a spring mechanism, which means that the foot touches the fabric and holds it in place as the needle goes in and then it lifts it up to allow you to move it. The other adjustment I make is to lower the top tension and you can see here this red mark on my top tension shows where it should be for normal sewing and so I'm just going to take that down to about a number two on my machine and dropping that just helps your free machine embroidery. It, I'm not going to tell you it has to be on number two it will much depend on you, the speed that you stitch, the fabric that you're stitching into and things like that. You just need to play. You need to get to know your own machine and the tension. Now, the other thing that you will sometimes hear is that you need to reduce the stitch length. This on my machine is a stitch length. I don't bother to do that ever because it doesn't really make much difference. You will be controlling the length of your stitch in the way that you move your fabric. So a quick reminder before we start stitching, make sure your machine is clean, make sure you've got a nice new sharp needle. I use a universal needle size 90 for pretty much all the machine embroidery I do. It doesn't matter whether I'm using metallic threads, fancy threads, that's pretty much what I use for everything. Occasionally, if I have a bit of a problem, I will put a top stitch needle in, which has a slightly bigger eye, but mostly I don't bother. So clean machine, new needle, feed dogs are lowered, embroidery foot is on, my top tension has been lowered slightly. That's the only 
adjustments you need to make to your machine. You're now ready to free machine. Your machine runs the same way whether you're stitching a seam up to make a cushion cover or whether you're free machining. It makes no difference. So people who say my machine doesn't like it and things like that, it doesn't really apply. Your machine will run the same way. Now, what does affect it is if you're tense and are not sure about what you're doing and you're getting sort of uptight about it. But if you just relax, you'll be fine. So I'm just going to pop my table back on and then we're ready to start. Now I've got my fabric framed because I've just got a single layer of calico that I'm stitching onto. If you work onto a firm surface like sort of a pelnet violin or a felt, something that's not going to pucker, you will find it you don't need a frame. Personally I prefer not to use a frame but I thought for this video it was easier. So I'm now just going to insert my needle back in again into my fabric using the wheel at the side so that I can bring my bobbin thread right up to the surface. So that way I can hold it out of the way. Excuse me, I'm knocking my camera. Um, so the thread's out of the way and that's not going to muddle. Now the biggest mistake people make when they start free machining is forgetting to lower the presser foot. And that is essential because that engages your top tension and without that your top thread won't be under any tension at all and it will just gather underneath and make a mess. And so once you've started it's just a case of relaxing and making patterns. Move your frame slowly and that way or your fabric slowly you'll get tiny stitches and run your machine at a moderate speed. So. really is all there is to it. It's about staying relaxed and the real secret is practice. Lots and lots of practice. Just like this on an old bit of calico or sheeting or something that you don't really care about and just practice writing your name, making patterns, anything at all. Just use any cheap old thread. I've just got a regular black thread in there and enjoy it. Relax. Remember it's only a piece of fabric. It doesn't matter. Have fun.